what's going on everybody once again this is mr span and this is life as i see it here on span tv and uh today i'm not doing video just doing straight audio and uh, i want to talk about this kwame kilpatrick situation you know they just he just got sentenced to up to let's see he got a year and a half up to five years in prison for uh probation violations you know not paying this uh, restitution back to the city in time and uh, you know a lot of people were surprised that he got the amount of time that he got I know I'm one of them and you know it just it's a damn shame uh, the amount of potential that that man had uh, for him to allow himself to be put in this type of predicament um, you know like at, in the beginning is far as the whole party and you know the Manugi and Mansion party and stuff like that quite frankly it hasn't been proven so I don't really know nobody you know that was involved in that party has ever come out and said yeah I was at the party generally it's people that saying, well I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that was at the party but it's never been proven that he had the party and things and uh, you know but that's beside the point um, I think a lot of the stuff he, you know, he pretty much put himself in this predicament. Um, when you get out of jail and you move to uh, Dallas and you're living in a million dollar home and you're riding around in, you know, Cadillac Escalade trucks with rims, uh, when you're buying Louis Vuitton shoes and handbags and things of that nature and you're crying poverty. When you owe this city a million dollars, you know, it's kind of hard for anybody to have any type of sympathy towards that. And, you know, he came up with all kind of excuses as to why he couldn't pay the money to the city. But he was able to pay that money to, you know, buy his kids gifts, lavish gifts to try to get back within his family and make things right with his family. But it shouldn't have been money that would have gotten you right with your family. It should have been you just doing what you were supposed to do. But, um... It's a sad thing, man. It's just really sad. Like I said, this man had, you know, really big potential. Uh, when you think about uh, him being the youngest mayor in this city, one of the youngest mayors in the country, uh, you know, there was, you know, at one point in time, you know, people saw potential for Kwame Kilpatrick outside of just being mayor of Detroit. You know, if he'd have played his political talents the way he had, if he'd have played those right, you know, we could be talking about him as possibly governor of the state of Michigan. You know, I'm not going to go so far as say president of the United States, but, you know, he had, you know, that type of political charisma. He had that type of ability. And to see to him, you know, to see him fall as hard as he's fallen from where he was just, what, eight short years ago? It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. And it's a waste of talent. You know, um... It's kind of crazy, man. Just just thinking about this whole thing, man. Just you know, from the text message, you know, text message scandal with his wife and uh, with Christine Beatty, uh, from him uh, going to jail, you know, lying about that. I mean, like, that's all this comes from stemming about lying about getting some ass. Like, if you, <laughs> like, that's pretty much where this stems from. You cost the city eight million dollars because you was creeping, creeping. You know, and for him to get the, the, the year, you know, I'm kind of torn about the amount of time that he's getting because at the end of the day, you know, he still got to pay this, this city, you know, restitution. How's he going to do that when he has no job? They fired him soon after he <laughs> soon after he was sentenced to, you know, one and a half to five years. So, you know, if he has the fate that a lot of felons uh, that come out of prison have, it's going to have a really, really tough time finding employment. You know? Um, and you know, it's, 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 it's unfortunate, you know, uh, the whole thing is just unfortunate, uh, for the city. It's unfortunate for him and his family, but at the same time, I think, like I said, he, he brought a lot of this, you know, upon himself. A lot of this just could have been avoided, you know, but, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy here in the D and, uh, I just feel like I need to say something about that. Uh, that's it. Talk to you guys again soon. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching Span TV. Talk to you guys later. Peace.